Gang, real quick before we get this episode started, summer is going into full swing, and so is the RU Garbage Keep It Moving 2021 tour. Oh, yeah. We're going to be coming to a town near you for a little bit of stand up, and we're going to be answering your garbage questions. Kippy, Tell them what they need to know. Yeah, guys, on uh, June 22nd, we'll be in Chicago. Still a few tickets left for that. Uh, June 23rd, we'll be in Indy, Helium. Get tickets for that. And then, buddy, we're all over the place. July 14th, Columbus, Funny Bone. July 15th, Cleveland, Hilarities. August 11th, Rhode Island Comedy Connection. August 12th, Left Boston. Those tickets are cooking. That's going to sell out. Get those tickets. Hot one. Then August 25th, we're at New Brunswick Stress Factory. And then August 26th, we're at Magoobie's Joke House in Timonium, Maryland, oh, right baby. outside of Baltimore. Okay? I like it, gang. Get some ticks. Come out and see. It's going to be a fantastic, fun time. A mix of stand-up comedy in the AYG game. Come out and hang with Uncle Hank and your Aunt Kippy. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. What's that? This is Are You Garbage? Oh, baby. It's a little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow up to be classy mm-hmm. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Mm-hmm. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. I'm down here at Aunt Tootie's oh, yeah? basement. I got a cool new tee on. Oh, my God. So look out, kids. If you see me at the skate park or hanging out at the boards this summer, come hang. I'm cool. I'm not five. I'm not five zero. Is that what you think the kids at the skate park are wearing? <laughs> All right. Okay. Just making sure what reality we're living in. My co-host is coming at you from a generation who doesn't get us. <laughs> He's the CEO. You're talking to other 45-year-olds. What are you talking about? No one under 32 listens to this. He's the CEO of Are You Garbage? All right. He's an international businessman, technically. He's the Ed Bozo around here, so I got to show him a little respect. (laughs) Give it up for cue ball. (laughs) Kevin James Ryan, everybody. I don't know why. I already got paid this month. (laughs) Screw you, loser. (laughs) I thought I was going to get a straight intro. (laughs) Given your attitude all day today, I should have known something was up. Catch you at the end of the month. (laughs) What time do you have to get back to football practice? You're dressed like a fucking, like a linebacker coach. (laughs) You look like you just found out about TikTok. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man, dude, that is a tough look. Holy shit. Shout out to Burlington. (laughs) You look like an undercover grimace right now. (laughs) Hanging out at the Wendy's. Where the burgers at, huh, boys? Hanging out at the Wendy's. Uh, I know uh, another place you guys want to go. We don't stay here. (laughs) Hey, what's up, gang? Happy to be here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Do it. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to the roof. True to fucking roof. Yikes. Patreon.com <laughs> is putting all, th- all the other two things to shame. Patreon th- Patreon.com slash are you garbage is fucking cooking. Guys, if you're not familiar, uh, you can get bonus episodes of AYG. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can get episodes of Hard Feelings, which mm-hmm. is a little bit behind the curtains. Uh, oh, you know, yeah. the show behind the show, per se. That's right. Uh, and then also, we do a live stream every month with our top tier patrons, which is a good fucking time. So check it out. And then also, we got some fucking live shows coming up. Uh, this is dropping this week. Couple of tickies left in AC. Maybe they added a couple of more. That was sold out. We got Chicago. We don't know what's going on, but make sure you get tickets. We got Chicago. There's about ten left there, maybe. Uh-oh. Uh, in that in that second show, and then we got fucking Cleveland coming up. We got Columbus coming up. We got Rhode got Island Indy, com- on the Indy, trip next week. Indy coming up next week. Would you give up on Indy? You I, skipped over Indy. No, I forgot about it. We got a lot of fucking <laughs> dates, is what I'm trying to say. Come out there and see a show there, boys. Flatlining in Indy, huh? No, we're doing all right. We're, we're doing okay. Never make it out of Indy. It's not one of our biggest markets, I'll say that. <laughs> For a state that has legal fireworks and $5 cigarettes. I think we'd be kicking. <laughs> think they'd have the keys of the city when we got there. <laughs> it's got a cinder block on it. Listen, gang, that's neither here nor there. How about a nice shout out to our producer extraordinaire? Word on the street is he could drive a golf ball a lot longer than Kevin. Toby McMuffin, T Bone McMullen. What's up, dudes? Hey, hey, buddy, how are you? I'm fucking 
chilling, dude. I had my little chef's hat and my oven mitts on. <laughs> fucking cooking this weekend. Yeah, dude, Toby was putting in any fucking hours. He was he was sending me shit. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm trying to vacation with a couple of white claws down here. <laughs> I'm down in Wildwood trying to fucking let my hairs, my balls hang out of it. Let me tell you a lot of talk about this kid in the, out in the league, man. People saying this kid can slice him and dice him. I know, that limo putting video. Putting hot clips. Guys, so if you're not hot familiar, clips. we dropped Foley's first limo ride, which might be Toby's best piece of business so, so far. far we're just getting started it's a fucking that there's a full 10 minutes on uh on the patreon there that you know a lot of people joined to see that kids a man on fire look out yeah the one thing i did want to discuss and i hope you're okay with this because i've been laughing about it the entire fucking weekend oh boy since you said it to us i can't remember where we were when you said have you ever called <laughs> Have you ever accidentally called your teacher mommy? <laughs> oh, that was a. <laughs> Have you ever accidentally called your teacher mom? Yeah. <laughs> Brutal, dude. <laughs> dude. What kind of inbred backwards trash do you have to be to let uh, yeah. that slip out I, at any age? It's probably like it's just like a. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. That's fucked up. It was like fourth grade. <laughs> I, Fourth grade's too old. I could see maybe seven. The teacher handed me something, and I went, thanks, Mom, and then instantly was like, oh, God, what have I done? Immediately got an uninvited from every birthday party oh that year. That, that same year. I never pissed, saw a roller rink again, huh? That same year, I pissed my pants in that class. Two oh, days in a row, God. exact same way, exact same time. Jesus. Run into the bathroom. Dude, what the fuck? What are you, an old lady in Florida? In fourth grade, you're fucking peeing your pants? Twice, dude. Same spot. The second time, I was so upset with myself. I Wait, was like, same spot? You're like, so you're just peeing on the rug? No, no, no. I was running. It's not the- a fucking Labrador <laughs> peeing on the rug. Well, he said the same spot. Yeah, I was. Don't r- they usually rub your face in it so you don't do it again? <laughs> hey, with the newspaper a couple of times. <laughs> He's a brand new carpet, Steve Bone. <laughs> Oh, man. That teacher must have thought you were a screwball. No, I did it on the way to the bathroom. I was running. The first time, and then I like pissed mid. Talk about edging. Why wait that long, dude? <laughs> fucking talk about flying too close to the sun. God damn. I wanted to hear about the pilgrims. <laughs> <laughs> they were getting in a good they, part. They, they just were, got there. We were in a wild game of seven up. <laughs> Heads down, thumbs up. Seven up. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Oh, man. Did they have to break out the fucking sawdust for you? No, I was just in there drying myself off, trying to fucking hide the evidence. Oh, man, that panic when you do get even some drops as an adult on like a pair of chinos or something. Oh, I never pee before I go on stage. And people say, yeah, it's to hold it and be in the moment. It's no, because I don't want a fucking dribble stain on my cargo pants. Yeah. And people would be like, why is it so high up in his waist? <laughs> why That's is it my on, biggest fear. Why is it on his shirt? <laughs> Because I had a huge hurt on it. Except <laughs> my, I, had it tucked, I had it tucked in my belly band. <laughs> God damn. Holy heck. Ah, gang, this is a family episode. We are here together, the three of us, the boys, Kipperino. Yeah, that's me. What's cooking, baby? Not much. Uh, I went down to uh, Wildwood this weekend. Real classy place. I don't know if you've ever been. Have you ever been? To Wildwood, I've been Wildwood, to, New Jersey. We're talking I've been here. To Mo- I've been to Mo- AKA the Irish Riviera, as it's known as. I spent a couple hours at Maury's Pier one vacation. Woo! We drove up and went over there. Not my kind of town. <laughs> it's a tough look, dude. Didn't like it at all. I was yeah. like, nah, I'm going. I want to go back to Ocean City. Yeah, yeah. I'm classy. Not, Ocean City's a classier, classier guy. It's fucking dudes with pocket knives on the boardwalk <laughs> making moves on my mom and shit. <laughs> fucking she slime shouldn't balls. have been. She shouldn't have been wearing that. Uh, <laughs> slime. Bags it's up there. T- dude. I, this, I didn't even this. That just this just popped in my head when I got there. We went to the Acme. I was like, you know, grabbing some stuff Friday night when I got down there or Friday afternoon. And this guy came in with his son. His son was like seven. The dad was clearly high. Clearly, clearly, dude. Fucking ate your smoke. Smoke. They fucking puffing the chiba. Well, that's okay. It's Fine. a weekend. I know, but he's also wearing a shirt like dad's best buds or something with like a with like a pot leaf on it and i'm like dude jesus I get, and he comes in down he walks into an acme walks over to the refrigerated section where i'm at and they were out of pre-made turkey sandwiches he goes oh no they're out of the pre-made sandwiches i'm like who the fuck goes all the way down the shore to get a pre-made sandwich at, at the supermarket i was supposed there's to bring like russo's a and l pit there's like great italian delis down there this guy drove to a supermarket, walked in high as shit with his seven year old kid. Did any of your friend? Did you ever smoke any weed with any of your friend's parents? There was a there was a house that let us smoke weed, and I st- I had beers in it. No, trunk. were they smoking? Yeah, Have no, you- they were smoking with us down. Wow. The, I didn't smoke at the time, but 
we're all sitting down, and like somebody, like one of my friends got like a new bong. So their mom was like, "Yeah, let's go." Ugh, smoking with adults—that's real trash. And I, I went to the car. I got a sixer. I used to like roll with beer, so I went out to the trunk, got a sixer. I was like, "Oh, we're partying." And they, Warm? No, it was cold. I used to have a cooler in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a party car. <laughs> it was next to the AC unit <laughs> <laughs> and the tree stump. Uh, and they fucking, she's like, you can't do that here. I'm like, yo, you're high as a kite right now, toots. And this, this wasn't medical marijuana age. Like, dude, this was fucking 15 years ago. Hey, lady, you're blowing a 13-year-old. Let's not start pointing fingers, huh? If I want to fucking you, you, just you, try you, to take the edge off and have a fucking Bernie after a long week just, of fucking long division. You just had fucking your whore. fucking top off, you hussy. <laughs> fucking sitting here lecturing me. You're giving drugs to kids. Yeah, that tattoo on your left titty tells me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I remember being like, "What the fuck? <laughs> fucking round up the troops! I'm fucking you! Fucking losers! Find your own way home." <laughs> Trying to fucking have a couple of silver bullets and relax. I want to go over the McGinty's like a gentleman have a beer. Ah, <sighs> you're really embracing the trash lifestyle, huh? Wildwood. Is That's where. That w- That's all I know, man. Is that where you would pitch a tent? Things keep going the right way. Patreon, if I got a house, would you drop a house down in Wildwood? I think it's probably the only place I could afford. I'm realistic. going straight Hamptons, <laughs> right on the edge of the water. Yeah, right. Houseboat, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Working at the lighthouse. <laughs> My whole family out there. It's out. <laughs> Boats are crashing. You forget to turn it on. Ah, the bulb's out again. Oh, shit. Uh, but I would Wildwood, baby. I got recognized. I walked into a bar. Shout out to Todd. Nice. Todd. Todd from Philly. Which, as, now it raises, you know, we're public figures in, oh, in, okay. <laughs> in some dumpsters. I think all it does is hem you up to lay a good tip on the table. That's what I wanted to get yeah. to. This is, I've been, we've been, rec- I've been, I know you two, like, walking down the street, a couple people, I'm like, yo, what's up? Love the pod, whatever. Um, this was the first time we were sitting there. I already ordered. I think we ordered the food tour, maybe apps. We were sprinkling the infield. Got a couple of apps. What'd you get? The fried provolone, which is different. <laughs> I think it's all I had. <laughs> and uh, We're out of food. Wait, what do you got? <laughs> we got some cheese back here. Fry it. <laughs> um, <laughs> fried provolone. Get the fuck out of it here. It was good. It was, like, it was like mozzarella, but provolone. Mozzarella what? Mozzarella. Sticks. Was it breaded? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't just like you didn't hand me a fucking tub of M- melted microwave cheese in a bowl. No, uh, because you know what I learned is a pretty nice stack snack for keto. If you melt some cheese in a bowl and then take pepperonis and, and use them as chips, okay. try that out. Okay, um, Toby, sure. Um, had chips with his lunch. Had chips with his lunch. I had chips with my lunch. Sure, I didn't say it was on keto. <laughs> I just heard good things about this guy. <laughs> I heard he likes the cream cheese. But so we, so now I'm going. He's like, and then he's like, oh, he's like, are you from Are You Garbage? I go, yeah, no big deal. You know what I mean, hey, I ain't doing no pictures. Meanwhile, we're there. Hey, what's up, buddy? You want to get a picture? <laughs> <laughs> Needy, do just sit there. Show him your titties. <laughs> uh she wasn't there. I was boozing with the uh, boozing with a pal. Wow, a real day bender. Look at you. But I was a little upset too. I went to four bars in Wildwood. It finally, finally got recognized. I was like, I figured you fucking bozos would have been stopped me at the bridge <laughs> on the way over. Who are you, Jenna Maloney <laughs> from fucking Thirty Rock, trying to get noticed? Um, Ooh, that was a deep. Jesus cut. Christ, that was a Toby joke right Ooh. there. <laughs> 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 Who are you, obscure actor from that show from fifteen years ago? Um. But just a sea of DMs of people who love the cuts. <laughs> hey, my mom has Instagram too. Does she? Uh, uh, <laughs> no. Get on that. Um, but mom, the- please stop DMing Kevin. <laughs> yeah, the fucking Mrs. McMullen's in the DMs. Really? They all know who's got oh, the power. Wow. Right here. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Don't act like your mom's not either, okay, big guy? <laughs> I know she doesn't have Instagram. I got your mom, your dad, your brother. Everybody's in there. I know. I know my mom doesn't have Instagram, but I saw she your. She does mom. have an OnlyFans. I saw your mom was on. Nothing there. on. Nah, you. I'm not giving it to you. Oh come on! <laughs> was she mad about the whore comment? I guess it came out today. Actually, <laughs> we'll find out. No, uh, she said that was spot on. <laughs> it was in her younger days, but still. <laughs> 
But I had a tip there. Now, I, it was the first time I'm... Yeah, you do. I had to hit him a heavy. A thousand. <laughs> That's what I said. I looked over my buddy Phil. I had to tip this guy two, three grand. Uh, the bill was 52 bucks. Ooh, big shot. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We were running around getting drinks at a Some couple of Some crazy provolone, huh, T-Bone? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking trash bag. What? Go down there. You already <laughs> went to four bars before you got to this that joint? That was the third. Jesus. Yeah, we did a circle, the did, loop. Did you have apps at the other ones, too? No, that was the first time. We got Sammy's there, too. Ooh. Yeah. Burger, San Barino. So what's the name of the joint? Show them some Shout love. out to the inlet. Used to be Westies. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like a nice bar named after a gang that used to slice people's <laughs> yeah. throats open. Shout out to the IRAs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Two $2 you call it's all night long. <laughs> Welcome to the Protestant. Um, he no. hooked you up, though, right? He gave us a shot of Fireball. He goes, these are on me. Nice. Yeah. Real chill, too. It's, you rarely get chilled Fireball. Dude, anybody asking for Fireballs. <laughs> Man, that's a bad look these days. Yeah, also, too, it was like fucking two in the afternoon, too. Um, hey, Todd, how about some JMO, huh? Come yeah. on. No, well, we order. We ask for the Fireball. I mean, like I never, you know. A we couple... just get a couple more of those provolones. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put them in a bag, Stigoo, please? But I, I ended up dropping them 30 beans as a tip. Nice. Yeah, I was... Plus, that by that point, I was fucking torched. You got to watch those with the card because that doesn't go right on. That's a little fucking floater. Nah, they nah, sting nah, you a nah, couple nah. days later. Nah, Phil, <laughs> Phil put it on his card. I did the tip. Nice. Yeah, Cash? Cash. I Venmoed him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Todd, you a PayPal kind of guy? Cash app? What are you working with? Yeah. I just asked someplace that, that it was me a check. I was like, you want to Venmo me? They're like, yeah, we can't do that. <laughs> yeah, we're a business, you fucking Marmaluke. <laughs> All right, well, whatever you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Well, I guess I'll rescind my request then. Well, look at you. You're getting recognized. Fucking kid's a big shot. Living the dream, this guy. Yeah. Doing it. Yeah. I like it, man. You, I'm... on the other hand, you're no, you're no cap t-shirt. Now, what does no cap stand for? What do you do think? You know? I, I do know, yeah. I think it's no caps like a surf, like on the water, like the white, what when the water breaks. The white stuff. Well, wouldn't you want caps? You're a real marine biologist, huh? Uh, the white stuff. Wouldn't you want caps? If you were surfing, you would want a cap. You would want the wave to break. Well, not if I was chatting up some honey on my board. I wouldn't want caps. <laughs> if I was ready to make a move, yeah. I want all ca- I want tubes. Also, for the listener, he put the shirt on and went, who is no caps? Yeah, so who is no caps? <laughs> is it a band? Yeah. It is? New, new debut album coming out. Run it up. It's called 45-Year-Old Fat Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's no cap? You're, dr- you're dressed like fucking King of Queens in the later years. <laughs> when he really let it go. You look like a guy getting ready for a fucking semi-pro football tryout. They both got pretty fat on that show, didn't he, they? She got pregnant. I, th- I think she they went through the pregnancy. Ah. They did that old thing where they just put like a fucking pillow in front of her every mm-hmm, day. Mm-hmm. No, That's what we're going to do to you. <laughs> These are full. He's pregnant years, guys. Working into the storyline, yeah. I get pregnant. You look like you're ready to pull a hamstring in a softball game. <laughs> Man. So what is it, dickhead? No cap means like, uh, no exact, like. You, it means I'm not lying. Yeah, not lying. Fuck yeah, I ain't. Your people are out, people on Instagram, cat like capping. That's all cap. If you're capping, you're lying. Yeah. No, like, if you, like, if you post a picture of yourself in a fucking, you know, a Lamborghini on TikTok or whatever, people are like, yo, that's all cap. It's 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 hood. It's street. It's these young kids. That's like tw- it, it's, it's to, use, like- to use it in a sentence. Foley is fat as shit. No cap. No cap. No cap. No cap. You're fat as shit. Uh, I can't wear this. Then I thought it was a surfing company or something. No, it's like straight. Some guy on TikTok made that and sold them to Burlington Coat Factory. Well, you shouldn't be buying. That's another thing. You're, he just came from Burlington Coat Factory. It's to not buy called Burlington thing. Coat Factory anymore, dickhead. What's, <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> yeah, they got lame shirts now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just coats. Okay. Burlington Coat Factory and shitty t-shirt company. They, <laughs> they have 5XL t-shirts that I wear. Dude, the collar on that thing, too. God damn. You're going to look like shit. I guarantee you. I'm, I'm feeling lightheaded. This thing's tight as shit. Dude, that, the collar. It looks like, dude, it looks like you're about to hang out a fucking a like I got receiver. a bad grade. Like, my dad's choking me out. <laughs> dude, that thing. Ooh. No cap. That thing stinks. What, no is cap. Run, what does running Come up on, mean? Nothing on that. What does running up mean? <laughs> you're not running anywhere. I know that. No cap. Run up my credit card bill. I don't know what run it up means. Dude, I mean, it's a bullshit T-shirt that some fucking guy made. And Burl- if Burlington Co-Factory is selling the T-shirts, it's mm-hmm. not a cool T-shirt. 
That okay. means it went to normal stores, and everybody said, get this the fuck out of here. <laughs> Marshalls wouldn't touch it. No, no, no. <clears throat> God damn. Yeah, they're just Burlington now. And th- this one, they- I didn't see Coat 1, I'll tell you that. It was more like a Marshalls or something. Because they had toys, they had frames, all the like, tchotchkes and all that shit. Yeah. Why don't you shop at Polo? I told you, Polo. Order as many X's as you I was need. down with my parents. I have a show after this. I only- You can't wear that to the show. I'm wearing this T-shirt on the show. I stopped to get a couple of T-shirts because I, I only have a, a... Well... And you're... I had to get sneakers because I only have my flip-flops. I got a sweet pair of Adidas. No cap. <laughs> you are... Is you're... that right? Did I use it right? Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, fuck you guys. You're a bozo, no cap. No cap. No cap bozo over here. Take no. your hat off because you're a no cap bozo. No, no cap means I'm not a bozo. You're a bozo, no cap. Not like, exaggerating. Like, seriously. I'm not what lying. Is the, what is cap short for? I don't know. I'm sure we can look it up. Hmm. Um, not so cool now, are you? Lame-o. No cap. No lie, for real. Often used to emphasize someone's exaggerating. Does it say that it's used by the younger... <clears throat> Demographics? Yes. So I'm the cool meaning now. The of cap back, they said early nine, 1900s. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> good, good day, my lord. <laughs> you are no cap. No cap. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Uh, cool. Yeah. All right, so I got a cool new T. That's a deal. I have a couple other ones, but they don't quite fit in the traditional. Okay. Sense. Yeah, I saw you bought some. The stretching you have to do on your T-shirts before you put them on mm-hmm. is something else. Got to loosen them up a little bit. Jesus Christ. Dude, you're doing it. You put them over your arms and then do this thing. Do that. Dude, he steps on his T-shirts and then does fucking curls does with curls, them. Does curls. Stretch it out. It's a lot, dude. It I is. Oh, hey, whatever. It is what it is. Okay. No I'm holding the line. You just saw me weigh myself. Not bad. I'm down four pounds from when you weighed me in last time. I don't know about that. Yes, it is true. I forget the numbers. Sure. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the Weight Loss Challenge also on Patreon.com. It's a fucking roller coaster, guys. Strap in. If you're joining now, start at the beginning of June. That thing is up and down. It's like, yeah. the, it's like the stock market, baby. I got clam chowder in here. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing more unpredictable than Bitcoin is Foley's weight this month. These guys fucking all over the charts. I'm like Kim Jong Un. <laughs> you don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Kids are hot shot. You gotta give them that. Real cowboy. Kids all over the place. <laughs> all right, gang. This podcast is brought to you by our good friends over there at Mint Mobile. Oh yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's do it. Because we're fans first. Big, big fans. Huge. Kippy's been using it for years. Oh yeah. And here's the scoop with Mint Mobile. Okay. Cut right to the chase. Fifteen bucks a month. Good night. So you're thinking to yourself, ah, what's the rub? What's the rub? Because we're used to dealing with all these big bozos with the fine print and this and that. Nah. Here's the scoop. What Here's is the it? 411. Lay it on them, big man. There ain't no fine print. Nope. What they do is they deal directly with you. That's why they save you so much money. Mm-hmm. $15. Can't beat it. No. They sent us one. Uh, first of all, they, they, my wife has been using this for years. That's what this I said. Point. Fans Be- right off the jump. Because because uh, there's no contract. When you no. need it, you re-up. It's easy peasy. It's the same network. It's the same speed, the same data, all unlimited. I, I, I want to switch to it, which I might do. Hey, so you don't have my number anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't be fielding calls from the big bang. <laughs> I'm going under. I'm going under the radar. <laughs> Off the grid, Kippy. Yeah, uh, guys, it's a fantastic service. Check it out. Uh, if you're not 100 percent satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven day money back guarantee. It's easy peasy. Switch to Mint Mobile, get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're looking for extra savings, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless. Like I said, 15 bucks a month. All plans come with an unlimited talk. Text, high-speed data, delivered on the nation's largest... The largest, right? The largest 5G network. No, 4G, isn't it? Ah, buddy, 4G. 3, 4G, probably. 5G. We're talking 5G. That's what we're doing. The stuff that makes your hair fall out. The good stuff. <laughs> yeah, blow, blow, your, <laughs> blow your hair back, The daddy-o. stuff the crazies are talking about. The good stuff. Yeah, guys, they were, they're able to cut out the middleman and give the savings directly to you. So to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, uh, get the plan shipped straight to your door. Go to mintmobile.com. Com slash garbage. Mm-hmm. One more time, write it down, pull out your phone, do whatever you got to do. Mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks at mintmobile.com slash garbage. Now take your head out of your ass and go do it. Yeah.
Gang, let's talk about our good friends over there at Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh. I'm hungry. I want something to eat, something good, uh-huh. something yummy. What do you do? But I don't want to spend three weeks making it. What? Hello Fresh. Why? What do they do? What do they do? They send food right to your door. Let me tell you something. First of all, we're clients. Yeah. Okay. Big box showed up at my house, packed in ice, fresh shrimp, fresh pork, fresh chicken. Mm-hmm. I'm eating Cajun shrimp over kale salad. What? With crispy sweet potatoes and a yogurt glaze. Mm-hmm. 15 minutes after I opened the box. You couldn't do that without the box. Could not do it. No way you could do that without the Hello Fresh. Number one meal kit in the USA. Woo. All right. Shipped right to your door. You don't got to waste time in the grocery store. Nope. And here's the best thing. What's that? 15 to 20 minutes, they can have meals on the table for you and your family. Whether it's breakfast on the go, lunch, dinner, doesn't matter. They have every single thing covered to fit your busy lifestyle. Come on! Yeah, it's fantastic. I feel like a professional chef. They send it to me, I'm fucking... They do make you feel real fancy. They make you feel way cooler. Because they take enough out of the equation that you don't have to do it, so they make you look cool. It's color by numbers for chefs. That's what for cooking. Yeah. It's really open, hey, a table, a dash of this, a dash of that. Because my girl was like, my my girl girl made the uh, the Cajun shrimp, there's pickled onions that are in there. Yeah. So they give you the onions and they give you the stuff to pickle it like, Mm -hmm. you know, it's like vinegar. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, I made Pickled onions. I'm like, no. Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh made, made the pickled, pickled onions. onions. Don't be trying to pull the wool yeah, over the no big kidding. man's eyes. Nah, you got to get up pretty early in the morning to fool you. <laughs> uh, especially when it comes to anything pickled. <laughs> uh, um, the big thing when they send it to us, the, the, the thing is, me and, my, me, and, me and the lady, we'll get into it in the supermarket. Over this or that, or buying this. Dude. That's not this. Well, that's not this. That's you don't not know that. what goes in, in into a recipe. You think you know. She thinks you know. It's Yeah, well, this it's is kind of like that. My mom made it. Shut it. Get HelloFresh to send it to you. Hello Fresh. That's my new tagline, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Guys, go to HelloFresh.com slash Garbage12. Use promo code Garbage12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. What are we doing here? I'll tell you what we're doing. We're what? saying goodbye to hanging out in the grocery store and being frustrated, and we're saying hello to fresh, fresh meals. <laughs> hello <laughs> Fresh. One more time, guys. Get Go Go to HelloFresh.com slash Garbage12. You can use the promo code Garbage12. The link will be in the description. You get 12 free meals, including free shipping. What are we doing? That's nuts. That's crazy. I don't know who's doing that over there, but they should be locked up. 12 <laughs> free meals? That's bananas. Put these guys in a straitjacket, baby. <laughs> now back to the show. All right, guys. Um, this one, we're, we're doing a little different to uh, start off. We got uh, we got an advice e- message came in on that. Really? On that there Patreon. Wow. Dear Hank. <laughs> you are corny, no cap. All right, let's see. Let's pull it up here. Okay, what do you got? Names and places are all being changed. Mm-hmm. For his, uh, he requested. And as you know, when you join the Patreon, you'll get your question asked on air because we get too many DMs, emails, and all that stuff. It's the best way to streamline. Yes, so. best way to do it, guys. Thank S- you, Toby. Thank you very much. Um, now, where the fuck can I find it? This is crazy. Sure, look cool. <laughs> Rocking it. <laughs> yeah, it looks awesome. It's, fu- it's funny that you said. I can't wear this at the show when I bought it specifically to wear to the show. What I'm saying... Because I have basketball shorts on, and the only other shirt I took down with me was my short sleeve button-up. And you can't wear a short sleeve button-up in in basketball shorts. You're going to wear basketball shorts on... No. That's what you're wearing to the show? Yeah. It's a summer. What do you mean? I'm going to have nice sneakers on, look cool. I got my hat. You've given up. What are you talking about? Giving up? On what? What do you mean, what am I talking about? You would have never, Old Foley it's, would have never awarded, cha- first of all, not even cool champions. Those are original issued champion shorts. Yeah, and where did that get me? Now I'm coming into my own and I feel more like myself than I ever do, so I'm, I'm going to express myself. Dude, do not try to defend to. this. You used to fucking call people assholes and bozos for wearing shorts on stage. And now, because you don't have clothes that fit, that's what you're wearing and you're going to try to defend it? That's insane. No, that's not true. You're a 100% lying these. to yourself and lying to I me. I want to wear these. Wear what? My basketball. I want to wear what I'm wearing. Yeah, because you're not comfortable in pants. Don't try to... Don't try to well, don't, it's the summer. Who is comfortable in pants? Don't try to hide it behind that you're you're finally coming into your own. This is what your own has gotten you. Your own is not a good thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you're wearing a no-cap shirt. You bought a Burlington Go factory. It's a 5X. It don't fit. And you're wearing... 
basketball shorts from fucking 25 years ago. This you, this you ain't a good you. You've come into your only option. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, my back's against the wall. No cap. No cap. <laughs> what do you got? Okay. You have it in our group text. Oh, uh, do I? I'll send it to you right now. I Man, think. what would you do without T Bone? Can Enough, we take we a minute? Be, we would be tanking. Can we take a minute here? You, take T-Bone. a second. What would you do without old T Bone? Probably finish the story. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, all right. So this uh, this was reached out uh, by a guy. We're gonna call him Marty. By a guy named Marty. Marty. Uh, Marty is throwing his first soiree. He's having a gathering, a party per se. How old of a gentleman? Uh he everybody's in like the twenty five to thirty five range. Nice. Okay. So a little, you know, a little more Is it does he own this home? I is don't he, know. I don't married? have all of the no, he's not married. Okay. Um and he wants to try to impress these people. I'll okay. bet you know, to show him that he's not a bozo. Okay. Um he said, I think I got ahead of myself by inviting these people over. I realized I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. Mm-hmm. What advice he wanted to know, what advice we have to give him for entertaining a group of people. The f- his first adult His party. first adult part. Now, so, we're not talking a kegger here. We're not talking like he can't fucking throw jungle some, juice. He can't throw some beers in the tub with ice and fucking order some pizzas and all that stuff. He wants to try to put out some charcuterie. I don't, th- I don't know if it, I, he didn't say. I don't know how classy of a guy is. I mean, at the end of the day, he listens to this fucking show. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, well, I guess if you were entertaining, what okay. tips do you have to give him? All right, so I'm entertaining. Is, I, I live with my girlfriend at our place now. No, you live at Wayne Manor. Yeah, you live at your fucking apartment right. with your girlfriend So now. things are going well. <laughs> I mean, where else, where else would you be throwing a party? I don't know, maybe this guy's house? I don't know. Maybe I got an invite down the shore. It could be at Toby's mom's house. Where would you like to throw up. the party? I'll, I'll rent a space. And throw it there. No, it says at your house. Rent a space. All right. You've fine. never rented. You've never rented a space. To what throw I'm entertaining, a party. I would though. No. Would you come? I've been to your house, and you listen. You don't roll out the red carpet. Okay. That now take that back right now. Anytime you walk into my house, I offer you something. Yeah, you water no from like the a, sink. No, I. Have I a can Brita. get that. I can get that. I on offer you a fresh beverage and some and no. refreshments. Say it, and you decline. Most of it, I mean, I haven't been to your house in a while, but you've only ever had. That's not what I heard. You've, <laughs> <laughs> you've only ever had water. That's not true. That's very true. I have an and assort- dirty dishes in the in no. the in the fridge. Oh, oh, fair yes, enough, in the fridge. dirty dishes in the fridge. But not in the hey, sink. Do you want this pitcher of water that's next to the fucking the rigatoni pan? No, I don't want that. Okay, <laughs> there might be a meatball in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to clean the whole place. You got to clean. Bottom. It might even be worth it to, to get somebody to in To get there. someone in there, especially when you sign up at a place. Like a lot of places, like, yeah, you sign up on like, they do it in New York. Like the first time's only 50 bucks or something like that. Ooh. Get them in there to clean the corners. They do it nice. If you've never had your place cleaned by a service, you got to do it. Treat yourself, dude. Yeah. It's the best 70 bucks you'll ever spend. Yeah, it's relatively cheap, especially the first time you can get a pretty good deal. Now, I'm assuming, uh, Marty, is this is all an inside thing. Now, if, if, he, he, if he has a, back, a backyard, it would be a little bit of a different approach. He is in a nicer weather place, so it could, he could, there could be an outdoor space. I don't know. He, doesn't, he didn't he say that. He clearly doesn't have a pool, though. Right? Probably not. That's a tough look, man. Having those parties with no pool. Get the fuck out of here. All right, well, let's keep it to the apartment. We'll then. keep it to the apartment. So, yeah, you want to clean the place. Well, can we say, we'll say apartment with deck. Sure, there's probably right. a front porch, a back porch, something. Marty's doing well. It ain't okay. bad to keep the beers in a cooler out there. What? What? But of course. Let's, yeah. let's take this from the ground up. Since you're asking. Wait, are we running a space again? I like how now you're involved before you're like, where am I throwing my shindig? Uh, clean everything, including your room. Don't be one of those guys that have the room. Uh, don't go in that room or fucking, oh, the cat's in there or whatever. It smells like litter or any of that shit. Um, if you got a cat, send him away for the weekend. If you got a cat, fucking, yeah, handle it. Don't be putting people's coats in the room where the cat fucking drops dumps. Because <laughs> that shit stinks. I don't think there's a coat room. It's in a warmer... Uh, okay. I mean, coat rooms are for, like, the 
My aunt's having a party for, at Christmas. Yeah, you throw all the coats on one, on, on and then one as bed. As a kid, you dig, you crawl oh, through them. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was the best. Yeah, maybe on the other hand, do a coat room. Crawling through like the coat, you smell like cigarettes and perfume on the ladies' coats. Yeah, I used to find a couple of bucks in the pocket. <laughs> put that right in Kippy's little purse. Oh, we weren't grifting them. <laughs> yeah, me either. Bunch of little hoodlums. Just guys going through the jewelry boxes and shit. <laughs> Fucking wet bandits over here. <laughs> I've never seen a nine-year-old with a stopwatch before. <laughs> I, got, I got my uncle's Rolex on. See All you right, later, I'm bozo. G- All right, I'm going to bed. It's nine o'clock. <laughs> my bedtime. I'll tuck myself in. Good night, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, make sure the place is clean. Clean um, is, is huge. So huge. this is how you do it. So you have a definitive um, appetizer menu or hors d'oeuvre menu, and then you have dinner. Okay. I don't know if you're doing. Di- I, this is where we might disagree. You don't need to do dinner. He's not doing dinner. He's not cooking it's burgers not di- and shit on the grill. I don't. I, I don't know. You got to stop hemming me up. I don't have all of these fucking details. You're asking me like I'm throwing a party. I, feel like, I don't know. I feel like you're really Marty. <laughs> yeah. Um. But let's say you're doing. You're having people over. You're asking me how to do it. I'm telling you how to do it. Yeah, but you're going. Does he have a grill? I don't have. That's. I've given you all the information I have. So stop asking me for details. Okay, fine. Then I'm going to take it from there. There you go. So what you want to do is. You want to make sure there's an assortment of beverages, yes, out on the deck. If there's a that deck people available. people can serve themselves. Yes. You, Unless he has the money, you hire a bartender and no, set a little I mean, bar up. He's not doing that. Okay, cool. So you have all that stuff out if, there. If you do have an outdoor, you do an outdoor. That way it creates multiple areas. So, oh, I'm going to pop outside, grab a beer. Pop there's outside, some people grab a beer. Sea. You set up a little bar Come area with in. ice if people want to make a mixed drink. Yeah. Make sure you put... The sodas and the Capri Suns in a separate cooler away from no the kids. alcoholic beverage. There's no kids. Because that's how you get kids on the path of fucking alcohol okay. and drug addiction, addiction by putting the Capri Suns where the fucking Coors Lights were. Yeah, also non-alcoholic beverage is a pro move in case somebody has to drive or something sure. like that. Sure, D- definitely have, seltzers. S- have some seltzers, some tonics, sure. you know, whatever. Tonics? <laughs> this guy, who's drinking, who's drinking tonic I don't water? know what pussy's not drinking. That's why if you are, you're not coming to my party, T-Bone. Tell you that much, Okay. <laughs> That's how you know your family's real booze bags when the only non-alcoholic option is tonic water. <laughs> Just saying, have some some orange juice for the screwdriver. Can I get something. you a glass of sour mix? <laughs> <laughs> it's only 17%. What? Dude, also, pro move, you get the cooler with the nice beers. In the fridge, on the shelves, nice beers. And then in your crispers, the drawers on the bottom, throw some fucking Bud Light, some PBRs. No, for, no, for, for once, no. No, no, listen, listen. For once, the nice beers run out, and then and then a couple people have left, and now you're into the night, and everybody's getting tuned no, up. No, he's right. He's right. What you do? No, he's not. Hold you're on. not stock. You're not taking your vegetables out of your... In your refrigerator? A listener to this show doesn't have vegetables. Yeah, what are you talking about? It's, Listen, on. this no, don't this put is, anything in your crisp. Stop it. This is a pro move. Stop it. No, you it's not. First of all, you only go to parties at your parents' house. You go to your house, mom's house. You literally only go to parties. Hey, at Denise, your can I get a beer? Yeah, there's one in the butter drawer in the fucking refrigerator. No, you get a bunch of cheap beer because, if, especially if there's no kids, when that goes on, like the party goes on, people start playing drinking games, whether it be beer pong or flip cup or. Kings or whatever, that's what they start doing. And you use the cheap beer for that. Yeah, or okay. or you're all full up on IPAs. You don't want to fucking be sucking down a Carl's. It's true, you need that is a pro move to have cheap beer. Not at in the, the house. in the crisper though. Relax. Yeah, in the crisp dude, you've never be, when was the last party you've gone to, first of all, that hasn't been at a family member's house? Your mom or your brothers. What's the difference? It's still a party. No. Yeah, but that's the only way. You only know the way you do things. You've never gone and experienced how other people do things. That's not an adult, that's been, not an adult been, party. That's a parent party. I've been going party. to parties my whole life. I'd never went in anybody's crisper to get a if it's, drink. If it's in like a garage. Yes, dude. If somebody already has a garage or whatever, or then a separate you cooler. You didn't say it was. Thank you. Appetizers. What are we doing? <sighs> we like to get a tray of nuggets from Chick-fil-A. We do a Chick Fil A tray. That's not bad. It also depends on the vibe of the crew. If the crew is like a little trashier, you mm-hmm. can get that's you know okay. If it calls for a little higher end, maybe you do the charcuterie board. Sure. Uh, you can even what it, what is a pretty pro move is order if there's like a place around that has like good wings or whatever. Order that. Put it in your own fucking ah. your own dishes. Right, like your own present. Like if you do have a tray, sure. Order the whatever. If there is something where you're like, oh, everybody loves the fucking wings at Mahoney's mm-hmm. or whatever. Yo, I got fifty Mahoney's wings on the way. Yep. Bada bing, bada boom. Yabba dabba do. All right, I'm with that. You got to go heavy on the apps. I think if you go heavy on the apps and you tell everybody you're not having dinner, 
Like you're not if you don't have a grill or whatever. I don't know what kind of house this guy lives in. I'm thinking he has a grill. I have a lot of faith in this kid. Okay, that's fine. I'm He's got a also, grill and a deck. I'm also just saying, if he doesn't, you're mm-hmm. not obligated to serve dinner at a at a party, at like a cocktail party. As long as there's okay. enough people know that too going into it. Because if you're getting if you're getting invited over, you're getting invited over for like a dinner party where you're like, oh, we're serving. It's a barbecue is different than a hang. You know what sets that tone? Is it a mass text going out? Yo, come by my house around five, or are we talking evite? No, it was a, it was a personal classic. invitation. Hey, my okay. place. All right. Next. Your mother's asshole, whatever it is. Okay. Um, and then I'm sure there's been some follow-up uh, calls and texts and confirmations. Do some. your chips and the pretzels. Do your chips and your pretzels. Guac is always big. Hummus, some pita chips. Guac is big. Can I, can I throw something out there? Chips and pretzels go in like a big plastic thing, but make sure you put down a paper towel or something. Put down a paper towel inside the bowl. That's the trash. That's like 90s trash. Don't do that. You can do something other than paper towels and dump in a fucking bag of Lay's out. Also, don't do that. That's skating party shit. Can we just talk about the the trash that is the eight-layer bean dip? (laughs) Not a fan. Now you hit the bricks. Thanks. Take that shit fucking back to wherever you Buffalo got Buffalo chicken dip, on the other hand. Good night. Good Woo! fucking night. If you if one of the girls or whoever can whip up a mean fucking Buffy chick dip, have them do that. Bring it over. Buffalo chicken dip and shrimp cocktail are fucking. If you have a crock pot, pre-rex. you can do buffalo chicken dip in the crock pot. Real easy. Real yeah, nice. It's not, not a bad idea, man. When, you, when, you're, when you're going down that line on the fucking table and you fucking you see that crock pot sitting there. Always take a peek inside that thing. So at our place, it's always fucking uh, sausage and peppers and meatballs. <laughs> sausage and peppers and one meatballs and the other. And my favorite, <laughs> sausage and peppers. And my favorite. Um, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong, but you don't have to do a proper meal, right? Also, like, I don't know, you guys could be kind of, you know, more on the dirt ball side, and you could be like, hey, I got 15 pizzas from T- Antonio's coming over. There you go. Which ain't too shit, which is like, no. everybody's down for like a pizza and beer night, if that's the way you kind of... You spin it, not too sh- Everybody knows they're kind of slumming it. Yeah, well, you have to do one thing that's kind of like the centerpiece of the party. You know what I mean? So if you're going to do the pizzas and stuff like that. This is the way, this is the way you run a pizza at a party. You don't, order, you don't say they're coming. You don't order them. As the party goes on a few hours oh, in, you go, hey, you guys hungry? Should I get some pizzas? Don't accept any money from anybody. Sure. Boom, Ball. the guy from Skinelli's is at the door. <laughs> I got a better... I've I've seen it done better by Casey B, former guest on her uh, not Halloween party, Super Bowl parties. Casey of the legendary Super Bowl uh, party of the legendary. She gets fucking a stack of pizzas. Uh, does doesn't tell you a stack of pizzas just show up at halftime, and you're like, what the fuck? New party, <laughs> fresh blood. You know what I mean? You're fucking hanging out at that point. You're already about fucking. You got a sixer in you or whatever. Next thing you know, they drop fifteen zaz at the uh, door. Well, the slices start flying. Good night. That's a pro move. Just don't tell them. Be like, if you are gonna do that, have like two or three pizzas coming and just let it show up. That's the class move. Oh yeah, we got pizzas from Antonio's for later or now. Open one up, leave it on the stove or whatever. Put the other away. Ah, for later. For you know. How do you feel about the? Can I bring anything? I said, well, I'm asking. I, this also, I just had a plan and do my uh, my wife's whole birthday last weekend or two weekends ago. You had that this was. idea, what that you're gonna do your wife's birthday? No, I we had we planned like that the park hang. So it was like 15 people come in. And we had to get everything. Like I entertained. What was this? We've talked about this. Have we? Yes, multiple times. I didn't get invited to that either. We just did a whole episode we of did, hard feelings about this. It was like a fucking. It was like. 14 minutes of the episode. One, you forgot it was her birthday when we had to change the recording schedule to accommodate her birthday. Oh, yeah, it was I last told Tuesday. you it was her birthday. You then go, what the fuck? It was her birthday? I should have texted her. I go, you had the chance. Toby did. But you didn't go to her party, did you? We've had we this, did this conversation. Oh, did we? Oh, my God. Fucking scumbag. Yeah, you invited the dry Dude, cleaner. You was, are what? losing your mind. You didn't go, though. Are you insane? <laughs> I don't remember. That's fucked up, though. So what'd you do? That's what I'm saying. You have to, when people say, hey, can we bring anything? Mm-hmm. As long as you have, you know. Somebody shows up with the vegan shit. You have to it's have a price. lot of your bases covered. You can't rely on everybody. Oh, no, of you course. Gotta Marty, ha- don't do that. Yeah, Marty, don't have one guy bring the chips, another guy bring the yeah. salt. You got to have. Sitting around fighting over the last lemon square. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're going to wind up with 12 bags of original Lay's. Yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah. I've done that, dude. I've done that for KCB's Halloween or Super Bowl party. She'll be like, 
hey, can you grab chips? And it's been me and like three other bozo comedians meet each other at the bodega by accident. And we're all standing in line holding like Tostitos or whatever. And I'm like, oh, uh, we look like, I'm like, we all can't roll in with the same bag of yeah, chips. A jerk we look like fucking assholes. Oh, also, solo cups. Fuck. Hundred of them. Come on. Hundred solo cups. Make sure you got plenty of solo cups. Ice. And fucking plenty of ice. You need ice. Get an get extra it. big bag and put it in the fucking freezer. Get rid of the Eggo waffles, whatever you got in there. You Toss need it. The, a party that runs out of ice. Out of uh, ice is fucking. Get out of here. You're drinking like a warm rum and coke get midway the through the fuck night. Out of here. Or you know what's the trashiest is using the ice from like where they have the beers and stuff stored. I don't mind that. Everybody sticking their hands in there. It ain't ideal, but what are we doing? Really? If that's what it is, that's what it I'm is. I'm stunned. You know how you you know how you solve that problem? You toss a solo cup and leave it in there. People yeah, use it as a scoop. scooper. Yeah, a lot of people scoop. I'll f- I, well, it's not ideal. Right, but my germaphobe, my germaphobia gets checked when booze is involved. If it means Kippy gets another fucking martini, I'm having some fucking dirty ice in there. Right? Yeah, but you need the solo cups for when people want to start doing shots, so you're not having a guy with a mug. Yeah, one guy's got a WWE <laughs> yeah. commemorative he's, he's, cup. He's got like the butter container, fucking. Yeah, you solo get a hundred solo cups. That way, people try whatever, and don't be the guy like write your name on your. Cu- you gotta let people. You gotta have enough to let people be free. Don't you can't be having too many rules. The big question. Also, is, keep the shoes on. <laughs> Come on. If you don't be telling, especially people, if you're going in and out of the deck, and hang trash shoes. bags in different areas. Ooh, that's pretty. And good. make sure you have a designated Bernie spot so people can pull their darts. Yeah, and yeah, not sit, feel like a dirt ball. Yeah. Hey, well, oh, sigs out front. There's a lighter. There's a whatever. There's a can out there, like sure. a coffee can. You can put them in there. Yeah. I buy buy a couple of lighters. Have them out there. Classic. When people start Couple drinking, they don't always smoke. Like a lot of my family part is none of them, not everybody smokes. But when they start, but they start boozing, Kippy's around with the Bernies. Uh, yeah. Everybody, yeah, yeah, I'll have one of them. They'll bring, pa- they'll buy packs and then give them to me. Hey, break these out in a couple. You know, break these out around around eight p.m. <sighs> but you got to have the lighters. Have you got to set it up? Do it nice. And then music, music's a big thing. Ooh. What are you getting a band? <laughs> <laughs> Depends. Is the event Marty, space big enough? Marty, hire Weezer. <laughs> uh, no, you just do a fucking... Gotta Ale- have a good playlist. Yeah, Alexa or a Bose. Whatever you're into, yeah. it can't be, you know, whatever you guys are... It depends. I don't know. These could be fucking punk rock kids. I don't what know. about Bose? What do you think about Bose? My dad's in the market for a new Bose. He's like, I want to get a Bose, a Bose, a Bose. I want to listen to the radio. It's like, you have an Alexa. You have all that shit. It's already there. You don't need the Bose anymore. Yeah. I think Bose is trashy. Just write Bose on Alexa. <laughs> I won't know. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you don't have good taste in music, something like Pandora or Spot, go on Spotify. Look, look up literally, look up like party playlists. Yeah, hipster barbecue, or whatever you can do, like rock and roll barbecue, like all that shit. And like they they have it pretty curated. So, uh, but you gotta have a speaker. Like, and if you don't have a speaker, um, don't buy one or have someone. Hey, bring your Bose or whatever. If you know, and a contingency plan in case it rains. Oh, move everybody inside. Yeah. And if you don't have a speaker, it's garbage, but it's good in the pinch. Just run it off the TV. That's not too shabby Ooh. either. Yeah. Not too bad. <laughs> you got a smart TV. You can. Yeah, whatever. If you're like, that's also another thing. People watch it. No TV at the party. Oh, so, well, there's a game on game on different stores. Sure. Game on. Yeah. I game mean, on sound off. Yeah. I don't With the hate music that. playing, but the music playing. I don't hate that. But like, you ever well, she see? She got money on it. Do you ever see some people like sitting down at a, you know, like watching TV at someone else's house? I'm like, what are you doing, you fucking bozo? Fucking people hanging out. There's chicks here, fucking watching Friends reruns. What are you doing? I remember one year we had Thanksgiving at my cousin's, and she brought a my cousin. One of their daughters brought a friend. Oh, that's always bad. It was yeah, and she went up and took a nap for like a while. What? Yeah, a nap. A nap. How old was she? They're like in college. No. Yes. She's sleeping off a fucking Oxycontin or something. <laughs> Nobody just takes a nap at a party, dude. That's crazy. No way. Unless you're trying to get your get your bearings straight. <laughs> you getting your what? Get your bearings straight. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, I gotta sleep this off. I'm still a little fucking shook up from the Kalana pins, okay? Nah. If somebody comes over my house and tries to take a nap, I'm kicking them the fuck out. And for the love of God, no naps, no fucking board games, dude. No, no board games. What about heads up? That's fun. What's heads up? With the phone, heads up. That's all right. Depends on if it's just also these could be a slower crowd. You strip know what I mean? Poker. A little strip, strip poker. You ever play strip poker? No. We said we had this conversation with Akash. Talking about spin the bottle. Spin the like bottle. That. Seven, that's all. That was all. Well, like, he's not playing that at the party. 
Maybe he is. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little um, what about the dessert? What do you put now? Uh, you got to do. Uh, I would get something. I got two words. Local. For you. If there's like a cookie company or whatever. Stop. Mini cupcakes. Crowd pleaser. Just a bite. Get them at the grocery store. Mini cupcakes. That's the way you want to go. Hmm. It's nice. Hey, Brownies. Man. Insomnia cookies, like cookie that's deliveries. Something, not so yeah, bad. like you, sure. something like that. If there's like a place where you're at that's like, oh, Johnny's has the best fucking whatevers, you know? Hey, I got a fucking, I got two dozen of Johnny cakes coming over. Balloons? Balloons. <laughs> no, no balloons. No, no decorations. No decorations. No decorations. Tebow, no decorations? You're either 70 <laughs> or you're nine, and no I cap. can't tell. No cap, daddy He's a no cap kid. How about water balloons? At my mommy's. <laughs> what time's your water fight, guys? <laughs> get those pants off. Hey, when's this fucking clown getting here? <laughs> there you go. Uh, have a nice, uh, have a nice party. Chicken nuggies, fucking chips and salsa, fucking cheese board, and go over. Buy more beer than you'll ever think you'll need. That's Always. the fucking worst. Even if you don't have room to ice it all or put it in your fridge, whatever you're, whatever you're working with. Fucking have it on the side, and then it wasn't like it's getting low. Dump more in or whatever. That's your fucking job. You got to be Johnny on the fucking spot with the beer. Johnny on the spot. Nothing's worse than when you're like, "Hey, T Bone, can you grab me a beer?" And T Bone goes in. He's like, "There's one Corona left or whatever." And you're like, "I'll take a fucking Schmitty's." And T Bone's right. Do two things. You want two designated areas for recyclables and trash, but you got to go around and keep that fucking place clean. Because there's nothing worse than a shitload of water bottles. That's also a classy move, too. The water have a, bottle. Have a cooler just designate it. You need about four coolers. About, unless, about 13, 14 coolers. Unless you want to use the, the, without the crisper. You have your nice beers. Crisper is completely fine. You have your nice I beers. Get, I get beers out of people's crispers garage fridge. Constantly. Garage fridge, yes. Regular fridge is no good. Okay, but what if you don't have that and that's your only option? This guy might be in an apartment. You have to... Relax and say, okay, he might have to put him Go in the Go to fucking Target and get a cooler. Okay. Get the foam ones. The foam ones are no, all No, that's fucking trash. No way. I'd rather get him out of his fucking bathtub than a foam. If Do not. Marty, listen to me. Do the, not get a foam fucking Those cooler. foam ones always have bait in them. I'm oh. telling you, man. <laughs> they come with a set of night crawlers in there. Those things stink. I hated those ever since I was a kid. Oh, dude, I can hear that <laughs> squitching around on the lid and the fucking no way, dude. I'm like, you can't put anything. You can't put a case of beer in there. They start cracking, and then the the lids cracked, and the sides cracked. The fucking no, no. Those things are adorable. there's nothing worse than fucking those things. Yeah, and grab like a sampler, like a 24 pack sampler is a nice move. That's not too shabby too. Like, like a, a line in Google where you get IPA, uh, you get a yeah. blonde, Sam like Adams, Sam Adams, Sam summer Adams. summer fest. <laughs> Something. Sam Edgeman's dirt also ball, have someone dirt to, ball party pack. Have someone have a, have have the if you guys are into it the white claws. Ladies love the white claws. Guys the like birds them too. love them white claws. Guys Everybody like them too because there's no sugar, no carbs. Everybody loves white claws. Or the high drinking. noons. The high noons. Shout out thing. to the barstool squad. Yeah. Big on the high noons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do uh, them classy. Anything like that. Those things are. I was had. I had a couple of fucking white claws on a beach yesterday. Let me tell you though, something night. fun. Even if there's no kids, if you get a couple of Capri Suns or some juice boxes in there, it's fun. It's kitschy. People like it. Mm, yeah, not at my parties. No, it's kitschy. What do you? I think you just want Capri Suns. I've never been like, oh guys, he's got Capri Suns. Hi, this is so kitschy. Where the Bernie's at? And give me the fucking nose beers. I'm not gonna Let's say. Go. A, I'm not gonna say a rip roaring rush wouldn't fucking do me <laughs> right right now. Yeah. Oh, shitload of toilet paper. Pretty good. Yeah, that's. I assume that's a must. Can't be wrong, dude. You're running out of. T- First of all, who's t- who's dropping a, who's taking a digger at yeah, the no, party? For, no, for the ladies. Come on, dude. Right. Taking a shit at a party is so <laughs> trashy. Oh, dude, I remember at a bar one time. I was like, I'm waiting for the stall because I was like hemmed. Up. I was like, I might. I. We were, I'm like, I. Ha- I don't know. I might be able to hold it. If not, I'm gonna have to figure some stuff out. Wait, like you got I had a poop. I had a poop at a at a ball at like a club. It was at like <laughs> <laughs> it was at like Red Sky or Denim or something. <laughs> and I'm in there. Uh, never was, take a shit at a place you had to pay a cover to get and into. And it was not, there was a bathroom attendant and stuff. But I was just like hemmed up, and I'm like I'm like I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for the uh, thing. You're and killing the, some poor guy's vibe trying to do bump skis in the next stall. And the guy's like, uh, well, I was like, I got to see what it's. I I'm de- I have to see what it looks. I mean, if Who the, who's saying this to you? I'm saying this. The guy's like, you can go. 
I think I was up next for the urinal, and I was like about to. I had like fuck. I was about to have diarrhea, and I'm like, there's no way I can find a public bathroom in this school. Like, I have to see what the stall looks like in this place, because sometimes at those bars, it's just all pee. Like, you know, it's just they take this. They take the lids off. Yeah, it's so just, you can't poop. It's them. just dudes fucking pissing all over. So I'm like, I gotta put eyes on this thing. So I get in there, and it was bad. And I'm like, I can't do this. I, I fucking ran out and pooped in a jazz club or something. <laughs> That jazz club on Samson Street, you know where it is? It's at like, it's at like 15th and Samson. I forgot. Oh, I know what you're talking about in Philly. I was thinking <laughs> yeah. the West Village for some no, reason. No, you no. taking a deuce at the Blue Note. <laughs> <laughs> Guy scatting on stage. Give me scat in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God, that's funny. Um, Lock up your prescriptions. <laughs> if, yeah, especially Put if them away. If you're inviting a Foley. Oh, there's never been a bathroom I haven't been in where I haven't just peeked a little bit in the medicine cabinet. Yeah. Also, make sure your bathroom's clean, too. You don't want and like the shower curtains closed. I don't want to be looking at your fucking, you know. No dog. Looking if you at have your some, pubes. If you have it. some psycho dog, lose them. But if you got a friendly dog, let them oh, hang out. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Sparklers? Depends. We got to make sure everybody's okay with the dog, too. Get some works. Some works. Some works. Fireworks? Fuck yeah. Come on. Summertime? Set a couple off. I don't know. That's Couple not of my, spinners. That's not my the, 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 the fireworks. That sounds tough. more like the Capri Sun group, <laughs> if you ask me. Yeah, I'm a big firework guy, and that's a, and that's usually a we'll like go down the alley away because it can bum people out. Yeah, don't don't do fireworks <laughs> unless you like live on a farm. Especially do the way fire. we do them. If you live in a townhouse community, don't do fucking fireworks. Your you're dad's fucking, boss is there. <laughs> you're a hillbilly, dude. What do you know? And for the record, if you're doing mortars, don't put them in a tube. Set them off on the ground like a real fun guy. <laughs> Put some M- some M eighties. Ah, sounds like a nice part. Anything else you can tell me? No, that's it. That's all I know. So he just want you know what are some do's and don'ts. He doesn't. Want, he's like, I don't want to look like a fucking bozo here. Keep it clean, man. Keep it clean. Don't run out of anything. Keep it simple too. Don't know. You don't need. You can go right up the fucking middle. Cold beer. Give yeah. Fucking some food to eat. That's yeah. all anybody needs. Fuck yeah. Some that's yes. it. Some beers, some wine. Oh, make sure you get wine. Wine for the broad. Yeah, get a couple bottles of wine. You could even be a box. They even like that. Also, the birds like that. Oh, I love box wine. It's okay. Yeah. Also, whore. What's bad? Send a text. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I have a fucking. I didn't hear that. I caught up to me a couple seconds later. Holy heck, there, big man. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm no, sure no, no, no. That was specific. That yeah. was about a real person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wowza. Big man just unraveled. She never loved me. She walked out on me. I hate that bitch. No cap. <laughs> no, I'm saying that, though. I was joking, obviously. But women or people do take pride. Not women. But people take pride in, oh, I don't mind box wine. Box wine's not a bad thing anymore. Well, this is what you do. That's all I'm saying. This is what you do. And we move on. We got a couple more questions. But we love this style fucking. Yeah, yeah this is this this, this lane of questioning is fire. It's, it's, fun, a, gra- yeah. it's a great question. Yeah. Um, But you also. Also, there's nothing wrong with sending out a text. That day, the day before, yo, what are, what are you drinking? What are you, yo, getting beer? Nobody go in my room. What are you drinking tonight? You know, just to get a to get a feel of like if nobody's drinking wine. Also, you probably know that you know these people somewhat. I so did, gang, I, so I far this. So hang on. So gang, so far this is what but, I got. I got some peaches. I got this. Does anybody want anything? Want anything specific? Anything I'm missing? Ba ba ba. Anything I forgot? Yeah, whatever. Feel free to bring whatever you want if you want. Otherwise. Whatever. That's a. We uh, never do that. The Foley's. I'm saying we that's entertain. a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. I, I wouldn't do that. I don't like the asking what you like. I just cover all the bases because that's so much classier than having like been that. That to me. No, is I, like, but I mean that goes with that. No, I'm operating on assumption you're covering the bases. But if also someone's like, yo, I really love you know whatever. I was you know you can take care of that so they have it. Like I'm I'm not saying like if somebody goes, I, I want Yingling, I want Miller Lite just to buy those two. I'm saying cover your fucking bases. But at the same time, like, find out, oh, yeah, I'm not drinking wine, like, you know, because you also don't want to run out. If everybody's drinking fucking wine or White Claws and you only bought fucking seven, then you're fucked. Then nobody, then everybody has to drink what they don't really want to drink. So I don't think there's a problem with taking a, yo, I got this, 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 and this. What are you drink? You know, what are you drinking? Because let me tell you this. What are you planning on? Now, if you know your people, like he said, like, you know, I don't know how well he knows. I think they're newer friends. My cousin, like my I know what my dad drinks. I know my brother drinks. I know what my cousins drink. That's different. So we know to have Yingling. We know to have plenty of Miller Lights. They love the Miller Lights down there. I've been on Coors all summer long. Love them. They love them. My one boy (laughs) is now on Heineken Zeros. Yeah, keep a couple of sixers of them. But let me tell you, there's nothing worse than walking to a party and finding a fucking cooler of just land sharks. 
or some fucking shitty beer. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like you can't go. You got to you got to cover your bases and then fucking find out if somebody I think it's a nice touch of like, "Oh, yeah, I fucking you got a six pack or whatever for me." That's a fucking to me that's a class. That's a class move. Hmm. Let us know how it went, Marty. Yeah, Marty. A couple of picks. Would love to know. Especially late night. Yeah, and if you have any like party moves that you develop over the years, fucking let us know too. Yeah, it's pretty Fuck good. Yeah. I can steal them, pawn them off as my own. But I will say this. I wouldn't be throwing a party, just to put a cap in this. Because w- you don't have any friends. <laughs> yeah, who would the fucking go to your... Who would go to your... Who would you invite? You guys. <sighs> I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't told you what night it was. Oh, yeah. I would definitely have the grill going. Sure. There'd be something being smoked for 12 hours. There would be a centerpiece of food. Then there's burgers and hot dogs and ribs and shit like that. Yeah, but, of do you course. Have a it's smoker? a barbecue. Hmm? Do you have a smoker? Yeah, it's his mom. And my parents. You know what I mean? If we as the also, but you, yeah, it. no. We, look, In my apartment, no. I don't well, have a fucking. Well, I'm trigger. saying now you're at the. You can't say we when you live that far from your parents and you're 45 years old. You can't also okay. tag along as, "Hey, we're entertaining." I'm the one working the grill, dickhead, and stocking the beers in the coolers in the fridge. So I can say that. Yeah, most 45-year-olds do that at their own house. <laughs> they, don't, they don't go home to the fucking mommy and daddy, buy all the food and a beer for the week. Ah, hey, well, you loaded the fridge for us. I like my parents. Yeah. <laughs> we, did this, we just did this on Saturday. I'm, had a lovely time. Uh, yeah, I saw a picture. Yeah, pool was hot, ready to go. All right. Go ahead. Um, all right. This is from Maddie. Hello from Norway. Love the show. Norway, baby. On the Europe. International. Map. We've gotten some people asking us when the international tours are coming. Guten Would you Tag. go? What? Fuck yeah. Okay. Well, I'll plan it. Well, I'll see how the summer develops. Okay. See, um, how, see how Joe B and Putin get along this week. Um, all right. This one's from Before Maddie. We start making international plans. Hello from Norway. Love the show. This is a home run of a question. Is it, gar- is it trash to bring a laptop with you when you're in the bathroom pooping? Yeah, yeah, that's a tough look. Your phone is is you, you your overlook, phone is a, your phone is fine. Yeah, you overlook your phone. You overlook that. You, you, yeah, that's everybody's you do that. doing that. Yeah. How hard are you working? Yeah, how long are you in there? <laughs> or how hard are you jerking? I think yeah. is the I don't get that. To me, because a computer is more of like a communal thing. Your phone is yours. Your computer's on the kitchen table. Like you're like people are using it. I didn't even think. Think you're in there pooping. You get poop. There's part. There's definitely poop particles on there. We've learned about them this year. Those poop particles. They're everywhere. everywhere. So it's like you're doing that, and then I I get it's on your phone. Your phone's real dirty. I don't know. It's a hard no for me. How about an iPad? If I walked in, too much service area on an iPad. Yeah, (laughs) it's all touch screens and stuff too. Nah, (laughs) nah, no. There should. What do you? I don't get it. I don't get it. I could turn it into a pink iPad. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, dude. Not G-Bud. bad. Not I think bad there's at a all. thing if if like I walked into my buddy's house and he was walking out of the bathroom with a computer under his arm, I'd be like, I'm fucking leaving. We're not hanging out. <laughs> yeah. That's too weird. That's too weird. Yeah, no. Um This is fucking all right, this one's from TJ. Uh I think it's uh I I'm assuming this is put yourself in the suburbs if you can do that, right? Uh, has anyone in your family ever called a taxi to their house? Like if you, dude, if you're in the suburbs calling a taxi and there's like a, if there's ever been a yellow taxi out front of your house or in your driveway, you've been hemmed up. That is the definition of hemmed up in the no, suburbs. But, but it's never yellow. It's definitely black. Oh yeah. It's always like the weird color. color. Oh, white and red or something like that. <laughs> Stop, dude. I don't even get in cabs that aren't yellow. No. No. The green ones I do sometimes. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. The green ones, of course. Yeah, take those all the time. Yeah. But those ones in Philly, it's like, what, did you get these from another city? Yeah, the red and yellow and shit. Did you guys get these from a bunch of cities that closed? (laughs) (laughs) Where'd you get these from, Detroit? What's going on here? Dude, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's a tough, tough look. I mean, if you're going to the airport or something like that, if you're going on a trip. Now there's no reason. Uber. It's Uber. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, get a car. I mean, that's a tough look. I know my parents... We've flown a couple places. Whoa, hey, big spender. As a family, and we didn't take no fucking... So get, get, my aunt dropped you off at the airport. You have family that drops you off at the airport and picks you up. Taking a fucking taxi. You're running. Something Something You're is not away. good is happening. Yeah, no. something not good is happening. If I saw if I saw a taxi in my neighborhood... That's what I'm saying. If you, put, dude, if, you, if you looked out the window and there was one in the neighbor's <laughs> driveway, so you got, there's a body or something, something's happening. There's a crime for sure. There's a crime. Hey, mom, don't talk to the Finks anymore. 
Yeah, yeah tough, no bueno. tough luck. This one, uh, all right, this is from William. Uh, have you ever taken home hospital clothes, a.k.a. socks, scrubs, shorts, gowns, etc.? Fuck yeah, I there's, stole the grippy socks. Yeah, that I got, there's my been, angiogram. <laughs> there's been some socks in my house for sure. They got the no grip on the yeah. bottom, dude. I'd be walking up the walls. Yeah, and Spider-Man, shit yeah, no yeah. shit. These things are fantastic. <laughs> and a, I'm paying for them, right? That's the garbage way to look at it. I am Pay though. He's taking. I'm fucking throwing them out or giving them to you. Taking the bedpans and shit <laughs> with you. This is my box of tissues. This is my remote control. <laughs> Take a nurse's computer home with me. Um, Jesus Christ! All right, uh, let's see. This is for, ooh, this is class. This is, I think, I don't know. This is from John K. Y. Uh, did you ever have those plastic cereal bowls with the straw built into them so you could drink the milk? What? You never seen those? No. Oh, they these were '90s things. I think. Uh, let me pull it up. Oh, no, it's. And th- I don't. I've never fucked with them. T Bone, did you have them? No. That that sounds to me like some '90s bullshit. Like the the pants that change color due to heat. Uh, right, that sounds like '90s pussy kid shit. That's what it sounds like. This, you this fucking thing turn exactly. the you turn the bowl, man. You turn the bowl. Get the fuck out of here. I have seen them. Send me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, vote it, most likely to get beat up in college. Those things stink. <laughs> like, get out of here. I don't think you're here. using it in college. <laughs> <laughs> you're not like fucking sitting in the cafeteria. You're not bringing that to I'm the I'm saying cap. if you were that kid, that's a not a good, that's, no. You fucking turn the bowl like a gentleman. What about the spoons that change colors? I don't know what that is. Yeah, what are you talking about? You don't remember that? They had. They would always have the commercial for it. It was like a prize in some cereals where it would be like red and then you dip it in the, the milk and then the, the, the nah, cold makes it change colors. Well, that's not bad. No. Any, pri- any, any, any legitimate three-dimensional object that's a prize in a cereal box is A-OK with me. As long as it's not a sticker or a, sticker or a puzzle or something stupid. No. Captain Crunch used to give you little submarines that you put baking soda in in the tub. They were great. They dived down. <laughs> Fucking legit. Or those octopuses that used to crawl on the walls. Do you remember those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those things are great. Little soap and water. That's like they're brand new. I used to love those things. I don't have no idea what the fuck. Really? You, I didn't fuck with any. My toys were way cooler than Yeah, no than shit. That. You ate breakfast at a diner when you were a kid. <laughs> Who did, you're telling me you never went to a diner? Every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. me too. Suburban diner. Street Fantastic. Road. Got out the street road in Bustleton. Still there, all baking done on premises. Kibby's eight, year, eight years old with black coffee and a marble light. <laughs> black coffee, egg white omelets, and, and tomato slices <laughs> instead of fucking hash browns. I'm not going to. Iced. Damn. <laughs> I was going to ask you, what do you think of egg beaters? Are they trashy? I, I would. That doesn't cross our radar. But yeah, if it's coming in a fucking carton, hit the fucking bricks. Okay. Toby. I, I go gr- feel- a couple of great A's or nothing. Okay. How do you feel about egg beaters? Kick. Rocks. Yeah. I don't even know what they were. My fucking one friend's dad. I'm never going to know what they are either. Dude. Okay. I'm never going to learn what the fuck they are. I'll do an egg white. Egg white's all right. But and I'm not jug? doing egg beat. No, getting an egg white omelet. Yeah. Of course. Cool. Well, what do you fuck it? Yeah. That's the classier version. But I remember his mom trying to fucking put, push those on us. You want some egg beaters? Get the fuck out of here. No, I'd call my dad. Yeah. He's trying to pick me up. Let's go. <laughs> Leave work early. Come I better smell some kid. French toast cooking in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that cinnamon better hit my nose soon. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> fucking dumb broad. <laughs> some, parents, your, some friends' parents just didn't know what was going take on. Take that. Take those egg, be- egg beaters in your multi-grain bread. <laughs> yeah. And go back to the fucking store. So you want to get the receipt for that? You want to stay over dinner? I, lady, I'd rather take my chances in the street. <laughs> no fucking way. Either call up Domino's or call my dad. I ain't eating your weird meatloaf, okay? See you later. <laughs> fucking lentil loaf. <laughs> Fuck that. Okay? And get me a fucking Diet Coke. Lose this milk business. Dude, if you've got egg beaters in your fridge, you're definitely eating eggplant parmesan for dinner. Oh, dude. Yeah, people... I mean, if you're having company, you got to get it together. <laughs> Man. Um, all right, this one's from Mike S. Uh, ever had a Sunoco bumper sticker on your car? Because <laughs> it used to be like you got like 3% off or so. There was something. You could win free gas for a week or oh, something. My, par- my mom was my never. My parents, you just went real. You just went real hillbilly. Did you know that? What? No, you don't. You don't know what's going on. I don't think you know what's been happening in the past 35 minutes. I was going to say, my mom's not loyal like that. 
She goes to the lowest oh, yeah. bidder every fucking. Yeah. It don't matter where you are or who you are. Yeah. she'll cut you out of the she, fucking operation. She treats like, gas like she's a like looking for a roofer. Oh, lowest man. bidder. Yeah, she'll drive to fucking Hickoryville to fucking load up. She goes everywhere. Right now, she's Wawa all the way because Wawa's got the good number on the gas. Yeah, good price. They're moving units. They're moving units. Got to deal with OPEC or something. I don't know. <laughs> Talking to the Saudis, but either way, it's coming up, Patty. Um. All right, let's do one more. Never here. a punch card. Never a, anything like that. I got my punch card. My I still. I told you I got the haircut. <sighs> I still have it. They keep giving it to me. Jesus. They know me there. Shout out to Dang. Gotham City. You only Park. have like how many haircuts you think you have? I think left? about that every time. I think I'm like, is this the one? Before I sit down, I go. I look. I take one look at me. I go. This might be it. This might be the one. You have less than how many haircuts you think he has left in him? Be honest. How often are you getting a haircut? Once a month, minimum. Probably. Once a month? Yeah. She got like three left. <laughs> so do you, unfortunately. Yeah, a dead man walking here, huh? This guy's walking the mile. Uh, you have 30 haircuts left. Uh, yeah, I was going to put it in the like 20. Three years? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably about right. I'll be close to 40. That makes sense. Cool. Yeah, fine with it. You have about 20 until you croak. <laughs> <laughs> Die in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, let's do this one and then take it easy. This is from Drew. Ever own a strip tease pen where the ladies' clothes uh, slide off when you turn it upside down? <laughs> Man, those were the cool kids. You showed up to class with that and it's like snuck it. Oh, oh I fuck, I get a stinger just thinking about it. <laughs> Start pitching a tent just thinking about those days. Some redheads with a couple of private salute. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's great. That and you know what else is in that the same? nudie playing cards? That, but even they have them in uh like at the bar, the the erotic photo hunt at like the bars. Oh, oh I was big, a big erotic photo. Dude, hunt those guy. things that are on, you're talking about things that are on the bar. Yeah. they like, they look like old TVs. Yeah. And they spin a little bit. Oh, th- big fan of them. Big. Dude, you got it. That's a shitty place. Yeah. Oh yeah. Me and That's my buddies, would, me and my buddies would play photo hunt heavy. It was an all dirty photo hunt. Cause I remember there'd only be a couple mixed in there. Sometimes we would, we would do the all male review. <laughs> <laughs> See what a real one looks like. <laughs> would they show wieners? I think so. Quick. But they showed the titties and a muff. I just say muff? Who am I? All right. We got to go. It's fully southern out of nowhere. I know. You're from 1912. Yeah, I'm a sailor for, all this time. Give it up for Joe Piscopo, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> These and his broad got a muff on it. Ah, uh, that's it? That's it. We got to wrap. Gang, listen. We, uh, Jesus. Gang, listen. We love you guys very much. Thank you for everything. Kippy, what do you got to tell them? That's it, guys. Uh, first of all, check me out on social media, at Kim Ryan Comedy on all social media. Get those Instagram numbers. Up, mm, mm, mm. oh, closing in on 10K about. Uh, live shows, ch- uh, you know, uh, subscribe to, on YouTube. Leave a review on uh, iTunes, the whole nine yards, and uh, tickets to the live shows. That's it. We love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.